Hi friends, in today's video, I'll show you how to set up corporate margin account with Quest Trade in Canada. In my case, my company is a single owner entity. I own 100% of the share. When I set out to do the documentation, there's a long list of document to be filled. It was frankly very overwhelming. However, once I understood, it took me less than 45 minutes to fill the application and set my account. I will show you exactly step by step what I did and I will also be doing a running commentary as we proceed with the video. So do watch the video till the end and in case you are new to my channel, please go ahead and press the like button as well as do subscribe as I keep bringing such useful videos in front of you, which is Canada tried and tested. You see here, this is the Quest Trade website. I'm sharing the link so that you find it easy to go directly to the margin account. Please use the link which is shared below. And uh, once you click here on open an account, these option comes and here nowhere the corporate account is shown. So you have to click here, see more account type. Once you click here, this entire list comes and here entity. Once you click here, corporate margin. So in my case, I have already opened an account and to open an account, basically username and profile needs to be created. It's a very simple, straightforward uh, thing. So I will not go into that detail. Once you click here and click open now, as I said, it's a three step process. Okay. And uh, in my case, I will log in, but in, in case you are new, then you will have to continue. Okay. You see here account management find forms once you click here all the forms which i will be showing are available here let me take you just through this once i click here and here you once you select organization you will have all the form for corporate okay so i will show you this entire thing one by one let's get back to here you see right now we are here building the profile and setup of account will be the last step. So in this, I will start filling in details. Do you want to trade options? My response here was no. In case I want to change any time, I can come and do that anytime. Okay. So you can read this. I am an officer or director and I have full authority to affect transaction on behalf of corporation. So I selected this and then I entered the name of the corporation and care of that was my full name. Okay, so I will enter that. Okay, so once this was entered, come down, save and continue. Now we are at the participant uh, section and here I entered my marital status, account participants. This was auto populated based on uh, what I had filled initially when I was setting up the quest trade account. Okay, so I will come down here on the role you see here these details are required and it shows right now these details have not been given these two are added but these are not given so all i need to do is i'll have to go to this plus sign and select existing member and once everything was entered i check this box and then save and continue coming to the profile section here country of residence is getting asked and let's come down in the residential address i enter the residential address with phone number and email id date of birth further once we come down do you have account or trading authorization for any account with brokerage other than quest rate i don't have so i have selected no coming to country of citizenship i have selected my country of citizenship social insurance number that has been entered and i clicked on the consent form okay so that is checked and were you born in usa answer is no in my case are you us person no are you tax resident of jurisdiction other than canada or usa i chose my response and then i clicked i certify let me come down then i submitted government id and entered the identification number now since i'm married my spouse detail were automatically populated based on what i had entered earlier and then my company's corporation detail that was listed and here as i said i am owning 100 percent share so i entered that 
as 100% and then I clicked save and continue. So while filling information sometimes you might come across the incomplete information all you need to do is just go and fill that up. Corporation country is Canada so it's asking for jurisdiction so I enter the jurisdiction date of establishment so I just filled the detail like jurisdiction uh, as Ontario I entered my date of establishment business number industry and uh, then for the corporation margin control or trade in account with other brokers my response here was no is the entity a tax resident of jurisdiction other than Canada my response and then I am the controlling authority so I that was auto populated and then I check this box that I am authorized signing officer okay so let me come down and here I entered my business address and other details and after that save and continue now in this job and affiliations I entered my employment status type of business uh, work telephone job category and occupation I'm sure you would be able to do this on your own now let me come down I entered the job title the location of employment country the address of uh, company those details were entered and you have option to remind later okay and uh, based on what I entered I was able to go to the next let me come down so for this question my response was no it's purely for business and my investment so I selected that and then save and continue I was asked some of my spouse detail which I filled okay that's why it's showing incomplete and then again for my corporation details were asked what were those detail so these were the detail and my response was no you can go and read at your own time and uh, enter whatever is in your case let me come down so once this was filled and I clicked save and continue it took me to the financial section so I entered my financials and uh, I am obscuring this from you for obvious reason you can go and fill your details and then I also entered the estimated initial deposit so once this was done save and continue and on this agreement page I accepted um, all three client agreement once I clicked here page opens just go through this and click accept okay and uh, so was for all that was shown so I accepted uh, this agreement if I don't accept it does not go through again on the shareholder communication let me come down I chose I do not object to you disclosing the information described above which security holder material do you want to receive here there are three options you can choose based on your comfort I chose mine and then the preferred language for security holder material I chose English so once this was done come down here I said I understand the information that quest trade has provided and email address use I clicked here then save and continue in this review section all I had filled so far is shown in a consolidated form I'm just reviewing for the correctness and that is what I ensured and once that was done I click the submit button once submit is clicked you see it says almost there and the next step is to upload document and then download some of the documents sign and then submit the document so we'll go one by one I have completed so far the account questions and in the upload your document government issued photo ID one of the Canadian government uh, photo ID I submitted and that's why it shows tick article of incorporation I just need to upload that once this is uploaded this will also show that it is completed and then coming to the download complete and upload these forms so once you click on download all forms you will be able to get that 21 page document I got that or you can go to the form section which I had showed initially and you can download one by one so once uh, I will open that 21 page document I will show you how I have filled each one of these okay so let me go to 
the 21 page uh, document this is the 21 page document basically it has all the upload document which was mentioned and what i'll do is i'll create a timestamp for each page where i'm either filling details or i'm doing a signature so that you can toggle and you can come to a particular page to have a reference check done so that way it will make the process also faster okay so we are on page one and automatically the account number which was generated by quest trade that got populated here and uh, that gets reflected in case it does not happen then this account number will have to be filled in my case it was auto populated so page one there was nothing else which was done let's go to page two so in page two understanding our agreement there are two places where i did my initial and i wrote my full name full name was uh, written below and in the initial section i had done my signature so two places this was done coming to summary of account again quest trade account number was entered account type uh, corporate margin then person name below is us person again it is getting asked my response was no and then i put my initial as well as full name and date so page 3 had this detail okay on page 4 account number was entered and then uh, corporation name my corporation name was uh, entered uh, as it is in the incorporation document and then here point number two any one of name of authorized officer i wrote my name so in page four this was the only entry which was made let me go to next this is page five in page five in serial number one i entered my full name and then i put my initial that's it rest of them were left blank let's go to next now we are on page six here account number was entered and then i the undersigned secretary of here my company name was given name of the corporation that was entered and then in officer section serial number one i entered my full name i wrote my title title which is there in my incorporation certificate and then put my signature rest of them i left it blank and on this page six let's come further down here in the director section again serial number one i wrote my full name and put my signature so this was page number six and let me go to page number seven page number seven beneficial owners here again i the undersigned secretary of here my company name in full was written name of the corporation and then the person name below is us person my response was no then uh, serial number one i wrote my full name i put my signature in the signature section and then id type here the government issued id what i submitted that was written so uh, say if i was submitting passport i would write passport and the country name and uh, then in the percentage held i wrote 100 percent as uh, i told i am the only owner and then the id document number so that was mentioned so you can check whatever document you are submitting that id number has to be correct and that document type has to be entered correctly so other than this in page number seven i did not do anything okay let me go to next page on page eight at the bottom i wrote at secretary signature i signed with my signature and date i entered so this was only thing what was done in page eight page nine corporate certificate account number it was already auto populated then secretary signature here i made my signature and in the date section i entered the date when i am signing okay so this is page nine let me go to the next page so page number 10 is shareholder registry shareholder registry for that is the company's name okay incorporation name that was written full name i wrote my full name my address and i left number of share blank class of share i wrote as common a and percentage of ownership 100 percent share issue date was the date of incorporation i wrote and i had not done any changes after that so that was entered now if you look down name of authorized person here i wrote my name and role in the corporation 
as per the incorporation certificate whatever that detail was i made that entry on page 10 itself i made my signature and then the date corporate seal i left it blank only if it is applicable it was to be done now we are done with page 10 let me go to the next page page 11 is personal guarantee okay so i don't think i signed anything here let me just check once so on page 11 there was no sign which was done on page 12 guaranteed customer here i wrote my full name in the name of guarantor address i wrote the address whatever it is guaranteed customer here name of the guarantor i wrote my full name i wrote my address city province postal code and the guarantor name above verifies that my company's name name of the corporation that was written okay in the uh, uh, blank section and then initial of guarantor that was my signature and guaranteed customer account number that is the quest rate corporate margin account number that one was entered which was on top of the page so that entry was made then dated this whenever i was signing this that date was written okay so this is page 12 let me go to next page page 13 in the guarantor signature i put my signature and in guarantor uh, name i wrote my full name so if you look above witness signature that was left blank and then address of the guarantor was my address province city postal code that was again my detail okay let me come down page 13 that was the only detail what was entered the page 14 irs treaty statement now this statement i took a print out and it had to be hand signed okay so uh, so far document up till document number 13 i edited with adobe pdf uh, editor and there i could digitally do my signature and uh, enter everything but for this form i had to download that is take a print out and then do a handwritten signature so now let me show you where all i signed page 14 to 18 there were no signature or nothing was filled i come to page 19 page number 19 here account number was auto populated and then name of the organization of the beneficial owner that's my incorporation name that was entered country of incorporation minus canada that was entered permanent resident address that was entered and then city province postal code and country mailing address i left it blank and then coming to the point number five us taxpayer identification number if required here the foreign tin that is the business identification number that number was entered okay and then uh, if you look at uh, point number six entity type here i selected corporation let me come down and since us and canada has tax treaty i selected for point number seven the beneficial owner is resident of canada i selected that as i said after taking printout i had to do this by hand so i tick this and then in b again this was ticked and i selected the most suitable one what was there for my company so in my case company that meets the ownership and base erosion test this was what i filled and uh, let me come further down the c was not uh, entered in my case and let me go to page 20 again on this page 20 non-profit organization active non-financial entity and if we further come down passive non-financial foreign entity so uh, uh, this i had to choose carefully and based on the business what i do i chose active non-financial entity so i selected this as the option after going through each of these i certify thing so i completely read this and i selected this so once i selected this come down here i checked i certify that i have the capacity to sign for this entity okay and then i wrote my full name i did my signature and the date when i am signing so once this document was done all i did was upload 
in that upload section which I had shown. So once the upload was done, it took about two days for Questrade to verify everything and get back to me with a mail saying now my account is active and I can fund my account which was the last step. So once the funding is done, I just had to ensure that the funding goes from my corporate bank account. Once the funding goes to Questrade account, after that I can go and do the margin trade. So friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do like, comment and let me know in case you have any questions. I'll try to answer to best of my ability or I will share the resource with which you will be able to find the relevant answer. Thanks for watching Canada Tribe Interested.